What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for another Shoegaze Saturday. I saw this set of posters on Reddit the other day and I thought it would be a really cool series for Shoegaze songs. So I'm going to show you how I can set it up and easily apply this system to whatever background you're working with. So here's the image that I found on Reddit. I just pulled it into Photoshop really quick. And as you can see, these are not really large examples, but it definitely gives you the idea of what we're going for here. And I really like the simplicity of the image, the classiness of the typography, and I just love how you can easily apply it to whatever background you're wanting to work with. And here's the second one right here. I love this one. The silver is really cool. I love those colors that are just refracting off the image. And this is really nice as well. I love the color palette on it. And the same thing with this one. And I just love those little bubbles right there. So just like almost every other project, we're gonna start in Illustrator and then go over to Photoshop for the finalized product. So let's jump into Illustrator now and get the layout for our type. So since the main focus of the posters will ultimately be the artwork, I'm actually gonna do 18 by 27 as opposed to 18 by 24. So I've got my shape laid down here and I'm gonna change my reference point all the way over to the left side just so we can work up against that and I think we can easily do something like six inches there and maybe 16 inches tall and then we don't necessarily we don't necessarily have to vertically center it for now because we're going to be placing it later in Photoshop but I'm just going to go ahead and do it all right so the real key here is to get a really nice font and since they're using what appears to be a mono space font I think I'll do that same thing I really love this font right here so we're going to go with that and she found now is one of my favorite shoegaze songs I actually think it's a better opener than only shallow Come at me with those torches and pitchforks. All right, so we're gonna have the song title, the artist name, the album name, the release date of the album, and I'll do the track length, and we'll do the record label. So these are the pieces of text that we'll be putting on this little label right here. So I'm actually gonna speed up this portion of the video while I format everything the way I want it. Okay, so I have the label finish and I really do like the layout here. Really nice and classy text. And this can easily be applied to whatever background we're using. And I went on Unsplash and got a whole bunch of different glitter and foil, different texture images. So I just wanna go through really quickly and find one that'll work really well with the She Found Now song. Okay, I like this one a lot because of the blue and purple. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to, first I'm gonna rotate this. Then I'm gonna use my crop tool and we're gonna do 18 and a quarter by 27 and a quarter inches at 300 resolution. And I wanna add a little bit of dimension to the image, so I'm gonna go up here to Filter, Blur Gallery, and Tilt Shift. And this is gonna blur just certain areas of the image exactly where I want it to blur. So I'm just gonna do a 45 degree angle here, and I can move these blur areas to wherever I wanna go. And then we'll bring up the intensity of the blur to probably around 35 or so. So as you can see, we've got a nice added level of dimension here. All right, so we're just gonna go Illustrator and copy this ribbon over, paste it as a smart object, and then just append it right here to the edges. And then what we'll wanna do is add just a slight drop shadow. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. And the opacity, I'm gonna leave it probably around 25. I'm gonna change the angle to 135. And you can see right here, this is where my cursor is. Here's our drop shadow. But we need to increase the size so we can get the blur. So probably Probably around 30 pixels or so. I'm gonna back it off to 20 just so you can see it a little bit better. And then we'll just hit enter and for the most part we're done. Now I'll show you what you wanna do if you wanna go in and edit this. So just make sure that this is a vector smart object. You wanna make sure that when you pasted it from Illustrator into Photoshop that it's a vector smart object. So you can do this. Double click on it and now it's gonna open it in Illustrator and whatever changes you make to it, say that we wanted to change it to uh, slow-mo by slow dive from the album slow dive change the time the release date and the record label and now what i'll do is just grab all of these elements and then space them out and then we'll just hit save on illustrator go back into photoshop and you can see that it's now updated and just for the heck of it i'll drop another image in there so i chose this one right here those colors are really cool but since it's a black and white album cover i'm going to put a gradient map over it just to change the uh, colors to black and white so this is just an example of what you can do but really the whole idea here was to put together a design system that you could carry over to several different posters 
I really do like how this turned out and you can put your own spin on things like this. If you wanna use different typography, if you wanna use a different color for the ribbon, if you wanna use different background images, you can do all of those different things. But really I just wanted to show you how you could just take a main idea of something and then just kind of adapt it to your own. And then also going in and editing those vector smart objects to be updated in Photoshop. All right, well thanks a lot for watching along with me. That was a lot of fun. I think I might actually do a series of those. Um, but who knows what I'm actually gonna make the subject matter for. I, I might do shoegaze songs or I might do something else entirely. I have no idea. If you like this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future content. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.